Hi, my name is Laura Briggs, and I'm the product manager for AMS Device Manager. And I'm Denny Fetters. I'm the electrical and instrument designer for Crota Incorporated. Denny, I understand your company has chosen to use AMS Device Manager. Can you please talk a little bit about what caused you to make that decision? Initially, on our first automation project, when we were doing a Delta V installation, I wanted something to do automated calibrations as well as collect the diagnostics information from the smart transmitters. I looked at several different packages and because of the the ease of integration from uh, AMS with the calibration snap-on, I chose the AMS package from Emerson. What specific objectives were you trying to achieve with using AMS Device Manager? Our AMS package predominantly was geared initially towards calibration management where we could build routes, upload into a documenting calibrator, carry it into the field, perform the calibrations, bring that device back, upload the data from the calibrator into AMS and generate the reports without the possibility of the technicians making the manual data entry errors and calculations. So the basic premise was to remove some of the manual work associated with tracking uh, calibrations as well as the actual calibration numbers themselves. And how is your facility performing now with AMS Device Manager? We've been using AMS for about seven years and we've collected enough historical data right now. I'm trying to migrate to semi-annual or biannual, excuse me, every other year calibrations on our process vessels on pressures and temperatures where we have been doing it on an annual basis. And what recommendations do you have for others that might be looking to solve similar problems? The biggest initial problem associated with AMS if you're not doing green stick installation is it takes some time to sit down and do the areas to build the routes and to populate everything. It's 20 minutes a device to populate all the database information and get the calibration routes created if you're using the calibration manager. Uh, that's probably the slowest part of the process. Once that's done, the fruit of that labor is, is in the savings every time you calibrate the device because you don't have to go back and do the calculations. You don't have to type in all the data fields. You don't have to extract manually the data from the calibrator and create a report. Great. Well, thank you for your time and sharing your story with us today. Well, thank you for having me.